Hey everyone, I'm Riot Brightman, executive producer of League of Legends. And I'm here on behalf of the entire League dev team to welcome you to season 2023. First off, I wanna wish you all a happy start of a new season. And I wanna thank you for the marks you've all made on League. From the hype plays to the big brain moments and all the ways you've helped make League what it is today. We have a lot to share with you, including our final updates on Ari and Aurelian Soul, some upcoming skin thematics, an update on Ranked, and a sneak peek at some champions we'll be releasing later this year. But before we get into what's coming, I want to share a quick recap of this year's preseason. So let's go. The Chemtech Drake has had a major glow up. In her new and improved form, instead of resurrecting friends and foes, she now mutates all the plants on the map with Chemtech empowerments. They still do what you're used to, only now with a twist. And each time you defeat the Chemtech Drake, she'll grant stacking tenacity plus healing and shielding power. If you claim the soul, you'll deal increased damage and receive damage resistance when at low health. We also added new pings to help you communicate with your team more effectively, including the push, bait, and all in. Better pings mean clearer calls on what you want to accomplish as a team. My personal favorite is using the hold ping right after my whole team dies defending Baron. And it wouldn't be preseason without some changes in the jungle. You now have a path recommender, an updated camp patient system, and new jungle companions to help you conquer the scary monsters of the jungle. Last, but certainly not least, we have changes like a new rune recommender, some new in-game items, as well as a few returning favorites, and a few changes to ARAM, like new Hextech gates that transport you down the map, falling towers and the rubble that they create, and some more balanced changes to keep ARAM games feeling fair and fun for both teams. Now that we've covered preseason changes, let's talk about some of the new things coming this season. After a year of waiting, we're finally releasing Ari's ASU. Her base, her skins, new VFX, splashes, and all nine tails have been updated and will be out for all of you in just a few weeks. We can't wait to see what you think of her new look. There are a few champions who haven't gotten a new skin in a while, including Aurelian Soul, Ivern, Kled, and Callista. And I have some good news. They'll all be receiving a new skin this year. Callista's skin is coming to us from a world of beauty and magic, nature and majesty. The Fairy Queen presides over the courts of the Four Seasons, and the Fae who reside there are empowered by the natural world and the magic within it. Not all within the Fae world is light and beauty. After we leave the Fae realms, we're returning to a fan favorite it's a little bit more adorable than beautiful. The skin line that brought you Pugma, Corky Corgi, and Yorick in a cat onesie is coming back. So open up some catnip, dust off your chew toys, because more champions are getting fluffy. These are just a few of the new things we have planned for season 2023. I'll hand it over to Riot Oberon, who will share our plans for Ranked. Hey everyone, I'm Chris Roberts, also known as Riot Oberon, the project lead for the Game Loop team. We work on things like champ select, matchmaking, and the various queue types from rank to normals. That means we're not just focused on ladder grinders, we're also here for players who just want to have a good time with friends. Last year, we shared a blog update with some of our upcoming plans, including anonymized champion select, pick order swapping, and the loadout recommender. Since then, we've also been working on a few other projects, and there's one big thing I want to talk to you about today, the Meteor Ranked Reset. Ranked splits have been in the game for a few years, but until now, they are just a way to separate the single ranked season into thirds to help folks pace their progress. Starting this year, the two ranked splits will have a full ranked reset in between with rewards to match. Here's the thing, a lot of players come back to League at the start of the season ready for their climb to their ranked goals. But when we look at the data, 
it doesn't actually take the whole season for players to hit their peak rank if they've been playing consistently every patch. If you don't take your foot off the gas once you start your climb in January, you'll probably reach the peak of your climb around halfway through the year. After that, things can get a little rough. For players at higher ranks, the middle of the year can be a stress fest of playing just enough to avoid decaying or demoting. And once players realize they're not steadily climbing, many of them either drop out of ranked or turn to smurfing. Neither of these things are great for fair matchmaking or enjoyable league experiences, especially for players starting their climb later in the season. All in all, there are honestly a lot of reasons why most other games, other Riot games included, don't have year-long ranked seasons. So this year, we're getting with the times. When Split 2 starts, it won't be as heavy a reset as the one in January. We're not introducing a second preseason, so the game won't change dramatically enough to warrant making you re-earn your rank to the same extent. And if you've got something keeping you AFK for the first half of the year, don't worry. The mid-year reset is even less significant if you haven't played many games since January. We know this is a huge change, but it's one we think will help keep League feeling modern and fun while addressing a few of the pain points we've seen over the years. Okay, that was a lot. Let's end things on a high note by talking about the shiny stuff. Rewards! Each split, you can earn the full ranked reward suite. Icons and emotes, ranked borders, and a ranked skin. Yes, that means there will be two skins for rank this year. We're also adding in some extra rewards for your climb as you progress on your ranked journey. In addition to this, we're also removing the gold rank requirement from ranked skins. Now, every ranked player will have the chance to earn the skin moving forward with chromas to match your final rank. The skin will continue to reflect your final ranked achievement, but we want you to also be able to earn it through dedication to climbing. That said, if you're below gold, it won't be as easy as play 10 placements for a free skin. The number of games required to earn the skin is drastically higher below gold, so just because you now can earn it at silver or below doesn't mean you will. That wraps things up for me. Up next is Riot Lexical, who's going to talk to you about our plans for champions this year. Thanks, and good luck on your climbs. Hi everyone, Lexi Riot Lexical Gal, the product lead for champions here. I'm going to talk a bit about some of the new champions we have planned for this year. But before that, I want to touch on our plans for the year overall. This season, we're focusing a bit more on smaller updates to the parts of the champion roster that has been left in the dust. We want to continue improving older champions' gameplay fantasies, so we'll be doing more mid-scope updates throughout 2023. And beyond gameplay changes, we'll also be polishing up some of the roster with much needed VO updates for a few of our older champions like Nidalee and Varus, both of whom cross path with some of our upcoming champions. First up this year is Aurelian Souls CGU. In the last lol please, we showed you some of the updated abilities that fans the flame of his dragon fantasy but we didn't go too deep into the parts of his kit that strengthen his star forging theme. Not only can a brilliant soul forge stars like a nebula in deep space, but he can now drop them from the sky onto his foes in Summoner's Rift. Ooh, ouch. As we mentioned before in the last video, his new passive causes all of his abilities to grow in size over the course of the game, including his new ultimate. I mean, what's more satisfying than dropping a massive star you forge in outer space on someone's head? We can't wait to see what you all think of the new and improved Star Forger, and we hope a lot of you will find a new main with him. After Aurelian Soul, we'll be releasing some brand new champions. One of our goals for the past few years has been to make sure we have a champion for everyone to enjoy. So we try to have a diverse champion pool that's inclusive of all cultures, genders, and in-game skill levels for every role. And that brings us to our first new Champion of the Year. I'm super excited for all of you to meet our male enchanter from Ishtal. Displaying an incredible understanding of the fire axiom at a young age, Melio uses fire not to raise cities, but to soothe wounds. Now, he travels to Ishalkan, carrying the hopes and dreams of his family on his back, along with his trusty backpack. He's about to face the biggest challenge of his young life, the Vidalion. 
His journey to Ishal Khan will broaden his horizons and introduce him to new people and places, but it'll also bring him closer to Yun Tao's darkest secrets. But no matter what challenges come, he'll always bounce back into action and be ready for his next adventure. After we're done with the adorable enchanter, we're moving on to something a bit edgier. I know some of you love complex champions and novel link skill descriptions, but others want to focus on macro play and pounce into action with a straightforward kit. If that sounds like you, good news! Nefiri is a darken for you. She's a mid lane assassin made for those of us who want to focus on the hunt. After awakening from her slumber, her first objective is to track down her darken brethren. Her newfound body, or bodies, seems like a cruel twist of fate at first, but they prove useful for locating her fellow darken, and as a source of wisdom. After all, it's always better to hunt in a pack. I have some bad news though. Unfortunately, Nefiri is the only champion this year without a shirt. We know how much you all love abs, so don't worry. We'll be looking for more opportunities next year. It's been a while since we spoke about everyone's favorite crystal scorpion. The Skarner VGU team has started exploring ways to dial up his scorpion fantasy. At this phase, we're leaving no arthropod hiding stone in turn to find exciting themes, kits, and stories. We'll be releasing a dev blog later this year with more information on his progress. Looking further out, we also have a hangry jungler and an artistic mid laner who are looming in the distance. They're a bit too early to talk about at the moment, but look out for future teasers. That's all for me today. I'll hand it back to Riot Brightmoon for some final thoughts. That pretty much wraps up things for today. But I do have one small update I want to share before we go. For years, you've been asking us for the ability to play League in any language, no matter where you are. I'm happy to share that later this year, you'll be able to select your language in League settings. We hope this makes your experience a little bit more enjoyable, no matter where you're playing from or what language you speak. I also want to remind everyone who has Xbox Game Pass to link it to your Riot account. This way, you can unlock every champion for free and get a 20% experience boost for as long as it's active. We have a lot more in store for this year, and we cannot wait to share more later. Thank you so much for watching. Best of luck on your climb, and I'll see you on the Rift. Thank you.